Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will once again be continuing on with a hard bounty hunter story playthrough of Star Wars The Old Republic. Why am I not in the bed you ask? Well, I tried to sleep in that bed. It was freaking awful. It was like I was laying on an ironing board. It was bad. I thought I could handle a firm bed and then I tried, I tried it. I was wrong. I might as well have just been laying on the floor. That might have been better, actually. Way better than what that is. It's called a bed, but it shouldn't be called that. It should just be called a table. I mean, it might as well be. Just make it a table. Just put your TV right in the middle of it and put a chair here. Just there you go. You're good to go. I know it's weird and unorthodox, but I mean, it'll grow on you. It'll be cool. You, you can lay down right here and then watch the TV with the TV right here. You can be really close. You know, like when you were a kid and you just lay down on the floor and you get real close to the TV with your head toward, you know what I mean? Oh. And you wonder why you have bad eyes now. You know, right? Krista Markin has given you your target for the great hunt on Balmora. Admiral Ivernez, your, wait. <laughs> your task is to find a way to lure the Admiral down to the planet's surface from his flagship in orbit. It's in orbit, guys. Look at that. It's amazing. Not that I really care, but... Mako discovered that an Imperial Lieutenant Major named Grill has need of a bounty hunter with some discre uh, discretion discretion <laughs> that's what I wanted to say for some reason and may provide you with a solid lead exit your ship and head towards Imperial headquarters in Sobrick and find Lieutenant Major Perel All right sounds like a hand sanitizer or something maybe maybe that maybe he's a maker of it you got stuck on that really or the jump just jump you can do it. Just jump. There you go. Just like that. That's all you had to do. Just jump straight down to the other level. What are you pointing at? Don't point at me. That's rude. Uh, uh oh. You there, bounty uh, hunter. I told we you. We want to work with you. Calm down. Plus, I gotta say, your voice—it doesn't really match your body. Not really. It's kind of weird. It doesn't really match your face at all. Too gravelly. I'm busy, little kids. Why don't you run off and go get some ice cream? Take a number and get in line. You see this blaster? It means we get to jump to the front of the line. We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum. You got anything to say for yourself? Um... He had it coming? Vex had a bounty on him. I'm a bounty hunter. End of story. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The fast draw guy. I don't know. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. Oh. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I, I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. I do hate liars. So here we go. Only thing worse than lies are the people who repeat them. You're dead. Why are you angry at me, Nico? This is just, you know, what should probably happen. You know, when people come up to you and point a blaster in your face and say, I'm going to shoot you. 
you know, maybe you should just do that to them. Don't feel sorry. They were going to do that to you 15 seconds before. But I know I shouldn't be the one to say that because I'd be the guy who would feel, feel bad. <laughs> Even though I shouldn't. But I'd be like, I can't help it. It, I don't know, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not sure if I could say it's the good in me because I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I don't know if that it is. I think it's just, I, I always put myself in every scenario and I think, well, what if that was me? You know, would I want them, would, you know, if I was there, would I want them to do that to me or would I want them to give me a chance? I would want them to give me a chance and hopefully, you know. But... In the real world, you probably wouldn't get that chance. Because people are not that nice. Sometimes they can be in isolated little pockets of the universe, but... For the most part, not really. Hunter, I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. No. Captain Rigel, Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Don't suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? No, but could you get to the point, please? I'm sure you'll fill me in. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. Um... Okay, sounds pretty easy. How hard can it be to put down a few resistance? It's not just a few resistance, they're well organized and well armed, but they can be broken. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister of Defense Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the resistance. The minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the resistance. Okay, I guess let's get to work then. What do you need me to do? That's what I'm looking for. People who want to get things done. My second-in-command, Lieutenant Davril, is masterminding phase one of what we like to call Operation Breaking Point. You'll find him in Sobrick. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky high. I think you'll like them. Nah, eh, probably not. <laughs> I don't like very many people. You like? Who knows? You know what I mean, man? Maybe you're right. Maybe I will like them. I doubt it, but maybe, you know? Just maybe, maybe that'll happen. Probably not. But, you know, just maybe. But probably not. <laughs> but I can just keep throwing maybe in there because, you know, maybe. But probably not. It's the exact same thing. Might as well get rid of it. Don't need it if I already got it. Come again? No. No. Not gonna happen. Well, maybe it will. Who knows? I guess we'll just have to find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Back again. Here we are once again. Right behind you. No, you're beside me. What are you talking about? Okay, now you're behind me. That's a little more accurate. You're, you're behind me now, but before. That was a lie. Alright, Griffin. All right, Griffin Remus, are you a freaking Harry Potter character? I'm serious. You you sound straight out of a Harry Potter book. Like, if I read a Harry Potter book and I saw the name Griffin Remus, I would think, yeah, that guy's probably... He's... I, I don't know. He's either a Slytherin 
or he's in Gryffindor. He's got to be in Gryffindor, right? I mean, with the name Griffin, I'd be a shame if they put him in Hufflepuff or something. <laughs> He was fit better there, right? Hey, hey there. You got a second? His eyes you look like someone important in the Empire, huh? I uh bet you could get me to who's in charge. Actually, I I changed my mind. I think he actually would fit right in in Hufflepuff. I'm getting that vibe from his voice and his eyes. He just screams, "I would like Hufflepuff," because he looks like he does a lot of huffing and a puffing, you know. Don't joke with me. Oh, well, actually, do, but I, cause I like jokes, but not bad ones. This better be worth it. I ain't never been more serious. Once you turned our droids against us, Valmora was dead. It's just mop up for you. I want to come out of this with my head. I got info, right here, where the rebels are, what they're hitting. Introduce me to the Mucky Mucks, and I'll trade them the rest for a berth off planet. A trade? You want to defect? Now you're getting it. Help me out. I think Lieutenant Trishoda handles defections, but he's been targeted a few times, so he don't take people off the street anymore. You convince him I'm the real goods, and I'd bet he'd cut you in a finder's fee. But the question is, are you an actual defector, or are you just going the long way around to trick everyone into thinking you're actually joining and then you're actually in you're actually not and you're like haha I got you tricked you that's what he's gonna do that's what a Hufflepuff guy would do you know <laughs> which is which Which one do I want to do? Screw it. Let's, let's go do the main thing. And get all that out of the way. Because it'll be a lot quicker than everything else. And then we can do everything else. Welcome to the office of Lieutenant Major Perel. Hello. I am ODX-9. How may I be of assistance? You got any Pokemon cards? All this, all this talk a minute ago about trading things, it really makes me want some Pokemon trading cards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got an appointment. Pharrell sent by for the me. way. Didn't he tell you? That's odd. I have no record of an appointment in my scheduling databanks. If I may inquire, with whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Uh, my name, my name is. I'm in a hurry. Just announce me to the lieutenant major already. My sincerest apologies, but the Lieutenant Major is currently in a meeting and cannot be disturbed. Thank you for visiting Lieutenant Major Perel's office. Let me Have guess. a pleasant day. Let me guess, he's in there with uh, that one guy? Quit jerking me around, man! Get the Lieutenant Major right now! Oh, yes, yes, right away! I'm so sorry to bother you, Lieutenant Major. The Republic had better be bombing the planet, you worthless piece of junk. Sir, forgive me. I had no choice. There's someone here. I don't care who's out there, you scrap pile. I told you I was not to be disturbed. You freaking asked for me, dude. I'm answering your encoded request for help. Sir, shall I call security? Uh, no, no. That's not necessary. Send our guest in right away. This time, make sure we are not disturbed for any reason. Any reason. Understood? Perfectly, sir. I will unlock the door right now. Perel is our only connection to Admiral Ivernus, so let's make the Lieutenant Major a very satisfied customer. What does that mean? I mean, based on what I was saying in there, I'm not doing nothing that involves making him a satisfied customer. I don't work at a massage parlor. Not that that really means anything to me. I've never actually been to a massage parlor in any way, shape, or form in my entire life. 
My apologies for the poor welcome. This is what I, I meant, though. I never informed that idiot droid I was hiring a bounty hunter. I'm assistant to the naval attaché of the governor of Balmora. I specialize in intelligence gathering. Master is wise and powerful. This is Mergir, an amusing gift from a friend on Drummond Kaas. What she lacks in intelligence, she makes up for in entertainment value. Let's get down to business, shall we? She a spy too, but she, you don't know that? My oh yeah, look at that look. Colonel look at that look she gave. An incompetent fool. I toil in his shadow, though his job should rightfully be mine. Now, I'm stuck on... The other stuff. But you know, that's quite an ego you have. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? I oh, have served on. this empire with distinction for years, and yet I'm still merely a lieutenant major. I wonder why. Unacceptable. But what's most infuriating is that Colonel Sarsius has the full confidence of Admiral Ivanus. Colonel Sarsius remains in power because he excels at hiding his gross incompetence from the Admiral. But we're going to tear down that facade. Okay. What if the Admiral likes him? The Admiral may be protecting Sarsius for his own reasons. Unlikely. Admiral Ivanus doesn't know? tolerate failure from his subordinates. He executes failures. I want you to create problems for Colonel Sarsius. Problems I'm confident he can't deal with. Your missions will involve plenty of mayhem and destruction. And the pay is quite generous. Interested? I'm here, aren't I? If I wasn't, I'd already be gone. Indeed. Then let's discuss specifics. Your first target is the Okara Droid Factory. Before the Empire invaded Balmora, we sabotaged the facility, turning the droids into crazed killing machines. Ooh. Colonel Sarsius is very close to deciphering the facility's control codes. If he does, it will bring the droids fully under the Empire's control. The Colonel cannot be allowed such a victory. I sent a data slicer to enter a code scrambling virus into the facility's computer system. So why do you need me? What's the problem? The security team escorting the slicer was killed by the facility's droids. Now the slicer is trapped inside. The slicer refuses to input the virus until I send a rescue team. I'm sending you. The slicer's name is Zalia. Force her to input the virus into the system. Then eliminate her. No loose ends. We'll have more business to discuss when you return. Oh yeah? She doesn't seem to like you very much. I'm just saying, bro, you should... you should... Keep an eye on her. Actually... Use both eyes. Not just one. Keep both eyes on her. I don't know why they say keep just use one when you're doing that when you gotta you know look after people doing things. I mean it'd be way more efficient if they if you just use both. I mean maybe you know the maybe multitasking with like one eye looking at one thing and one side and you know well, something like that. but then you're just gonna look cross-eyed and it's gonna be all <laughs> people are gonna wonder if you're okay. Like what's wrong with your face? What are you doing? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go do anything with anyone else right now until I... I'm going to take it one mission at a time, I think. Well, except for maybe the side missions, as so I don't... make it all confusing and wonder, what am I doing? Well, maybe for the main story mission, I'll just do the... I'll just do that. And then everything else, who really cares what order that is, right? But the main story... That should probably be at least a little, like... Linear, you know. Displaying all authorized destinations. I'm gonna Final go here. Is confirmed. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come to that destination and say hello. What is that? 
I know, it's a giant druid, it's a walker. When I say a walker in my head, I envision a, a thing that somebody is just holding to help them walk, you know, and it's probably got tennis balls on the bottom of it. it slides easier that way, you know. You think the companies that made those things would just put something on the bottom of them that's kind of like a tennis ball? <laughs> what do you want? The bounty hunter. I've heard of you. I'm Have Fixer you? 66. I'm with the operations branch of Imperial Intelligence, and if you have a moment, I'd like to show you something. 66? You mean, you you sure you, you shouldn't add another th uh, six onto that? I mean, your face looks like you, you like you should be uh, like working in a Halloween store. People would be like, "That's a nice costume you have on." <laughs> That's just my face. That's always a bad situation when it's Halloween and somebody's like, Well, I like your makeup and your costume. And you're just like, I'm not wearing any of those. <laughs> you look just like a zombie. <laughs> what? Go. Better make this quick. On the left is an ordinary Republic comm unit issued to resistance fighters. Yeah. You've probably seen hundreds before. No. This other one is a Republic comm unit that has undergone some surgery. Please look, don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. Go on. That's intriguing. The plan is to take a few of these sabotaged comm units behind the resistance's lines and plant them on their dead. The resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. Resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point. Someone who won't break if captured and who can go without reinforcements. Can you do this? Sure, sign me up. Let's make this happen. Head over to our technical man, a Balmora local we drafted. The men call him Toy Box. He'll give you the ordnance and show you how to transport it safely. Okay. But what if I just want to wing it? <laughs> See if everything works out for the best. No, I should probably have him teach me how to do it. Okay. But, it, you know, it might have been funnier the other way. Hey, Toy Box. You got a weird name, but how's it going? Fixer 66 called with the details. I've got your comm units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toy Box, or that's what they call me. I used to make. Well, never mind. Quite a plan the Fixer's got. Okay. What do you think of it? What did you used to make? Unconventional and effective. I like it. It exterminates the resistance in their Come nests. Come on, Mako. The resistance, or anyone else that picks up the comm unit. He's assuming soldiers will be the ones stripping any resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. But not the children. Leave the children alone. And? I don't see the issue. Look, you may not lose any sleep over it, but you have to admit we're aiming for soldiers, right? They're higher value targets. While I was making the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. Now, a comm unit anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? Well... Sure, whatever, I don't care, I'm just... Give me the grenades. I'll put them to use. Whatever. Here, they're all of the same type, so you don't confuse them with any you might be carrying. Just put them on the resistance bodies, and Fixer 66 will love the results. I guarantee it. You do, eh? You guarantee it, huh? We're gonna hold him to that, right, Mako? He says he guarantees it. I mean, Following somebody gives lead. it. I know. And when somebody gives a guarantee, you know, they're gonna stick to it. Oh my goodness. What do you freaking want? I was trying to not. Keep trying to raise them. I may have another avenue. You, 
Don't Bounty point. hunter. I made a Tyrus, commander of the 2nd Battalion. I'll be blunt. I need someone who can pull a rescue operation immediately and keep their mouth shut afterward. Yo, you're, you're gonna be a blunt? No, then Snoop Dogg will show up and he'll... <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool, but it won't be good for you. You won't last very long. And what do you intend? What's your game plan? We need someone who can get on the ground and contact Besh Company's missing first platoon. We sent them into the Akara Droid Factory for a covert electronic operation. Eight hours ago, their communications blacked out, which means the droids are onto them. Um... You don't have any reinforcements? Where's the rest of your battalion? In two words, stretch thin. Then I've got the rest of Besh Company and two others exterminating rebels in Broken Valley. They'd never make it back in time. That leaves one hope for First Platoon, and I believe I'm talking to it right now. Oh, you mean me? Um, sure. On my way. I'll head to the Okara factory immediately. Their ranking officer is Lieutenant Rutau. If the droids got him, then please, take command and lead the unit back. No. There, that solves that. Problem solved. We don't have to do any of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think I see one of the things that they want me to plant things on. Here we go. We're going to do it. We're going to plant it. Like a tree. Or an acorn, right? Whatever. Whatever you plant that grows trees. Watermelons, yep. If you plant a, a watermelon in the ground, a giant oak tree will just sprout up in the matter of three months. Amazing. I don't know how it works, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's where oak trees come from. Watermelons. I haven't had watermelon in a very long time. I, I legitimately cannot think of the last time I've had a watermelon. How did you get up here? That's not cool. Take your money. Ha ha. I took it. It's mine now. Nope. Don't want to do that. Don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. Don't do it. Don't get stuck. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to be stuck in any way, shape, or form because that's annoying. We don't like things that are annoying. If that makes us angry. And you wouldn't like us when you're angry. I mean, no, that's not a threat like the whole thing. I just become super whiny and annoying. And I'm angry. And no one wants that. No one wants a grown man just whining like a child in, in your ear for an hour. No one wants that. Well, maybe someone does, but they're weird if they do. I don't know why they would want... <laughs> okay. I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. I don't want to try to go the wrong way and then waste my time. You know, like I usually do. Like I usually do. I can't help it. Just me doing what I do. Me doing me things. Getting lost. Well, were you really lost if you didn't know where you were going in the first place? Wow, I went up level. I know that was a late reaction, but it happened. Get down! The droid patrols will spot you. Huh? Sorry to be jumpy. What? But if they find one of us, they'll find all of us. I'm Lieutenant Rutal, 5th Infantry, 2nd Battalion, Besh Company. I'd say first platoon, but there isn't one anymore. 
You look injured. Your ankle is charred down to the bone. You need a medevac out of here. Oh, that. I knocked over a droid and he shot me from the ground while I was slagging the others. That faceless one there is him. It was one of the many droid patrols from the Okara factory. They spotted us uploading a virus, surrounded us. It was ruthless. Droids aren't like people. They don't retreat. They don't accept surrender. They just keep exterminating. So now it's up to me. And me, right? Can I lend a hand? No, no, I can shoot and move. I think some of the bone is still intact. Mm. If okay. I can ambush enough patrols of battle droids, I can upload my packets and run before my painkiller wears off. What else can I do? I'm not going to ask you to go where I wouldn't. I, you know, I go into trouble quite frequently, though. Dangerous jobs are my specialty. I'm in. I've had sergeants like you. Promoted every one. Here are the virus packets. Your targets are the probe droids that travel with patrol escorts of battle droids. Destroy the battle droids, then use this security spike to crack the probes. They'll upload the viruses right into their network. All right. Which network? Doesn't Oprah have her own? <laughs> Oprah channel. Okay. You ready? Come here, buddy. I need you to do something for me. There you go. Okay, that was easy. Is there a probe droid in here anywhere? No? You're supposed to just stand there and look stupid like I do most of the time. It's pretty easy. You could have done it. It never would have happened. All you had to do was just do... Adhere to your base nature. Of standing there looking stupid. Like I said, that's what I do and it works out just fine for me. Right, that's I just had to make sure I'm going the right way. See you guys once again. We just went over this. Are you serious? <laughs> Don't move them right when I use my move, Mako. What are you doing? It's not cool. I mean, that just sounds like normal life, you know, when you try to make your move, everybody just gets up and walks away because they're terrified and they don't want nothing to do with that. Oh, another one. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> hey, buddy. I'm going to probe you. I mean, you normally probe people. I'm gonna just pay back a favor. Whatever it is. Of course, there's just a random guy over here. No one likes you. While oh, you were here by yourself. Take a hint. Hey. 
Are you the last one that I need? I knew it. Mainly because it said it right there over here. <laughs> How many I needed. So I, I had a feeling. No, that's not true. I knew. Because I could see it. Like... <laughs> No, it was just a feeling. I just knew I was. It, maybe it was the force or something. You know, I. Oh, there's. I didn't. I didn't even see you back here. Hello. You're Zalia the Slicer, right? Perel sent me. Yeah. Thank the stars. I don't know how much longer I could have held out. The stars. My reconnaissance team was evaluating the factory's computer systems when the droids overpowered us. The droids slaughtered my team. I've been stuck here for days without food, water, or sleep. Days, I say. Days. Yeah, Perel told me. I know why you're really here, Azalea. You know about my mission? I do. Then you should also know why I can't complete it. I already told Perel. If I put the virus in the computer's control program, it'll trigger alarms. Those droids will swarm us. Aww. Not if I blast them first. I'll make a nice big scrap pile out of them. There are dozens of them out there. Crazy killing machines. You can't fight them all. We've gotten out of way worse situations. Yeah. We'll be fine. You're totally set on this, aren't you? Okay. Here goes nothing. Here we go. You little scaredy cat. There she goes. The scared is scared, ran away. What is this? Oh, it's a return to the entrance thing. Oh, let's just take care of these guys. Prepare for the next wave. Okay. What do I do to prepare? Are you ready? Well, now what do we do? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> If he says wrong. <laughs> Man, why did you have to come over here? Don't push me. How dare you push me? Oh, she's hiding back here again. <laughs> you didn't run very far. I can't believe we're still alive. You can't? Well, you shouldn't be doubting me. Don't act so surprised. Oh, my stars. Thank you. You're amazing. I've never seen anything like that. I'm bailing out of here before more droids show up. Running away never felt so good. Yeah. Oh, I ruined it. Not a chance, girl. You were dead the second I walked in here. Oh. Oh, no. Please don't kill me. I swear I'll go straight. I'll never slice another computer. Just let me go. Hmm. What do you think about this, Mako? A contract is a contract. You're asking me to break my deal with Perel. I have a family to take care of. Parents who depend on me. I'm begging you. Perel's an idiot anyway. You'd never know if you let her go. Hmm. Buy your freedom from me then. I like things done clean. Make the loose end worth it to me. Perel paid me in advance. I stashed the credits. Let me go, and I'll tell you where. The credits are in a lockbox. Here's the location and the code to open the box. They're all yours. Should have never quit my job at the cantina. Well, I don't know. What were you doing there? I mean, if you're just like a waitress or a bartender or whatever. Or yeah, you probably should have just stayed there. What is this telling me to do? Oh. That's nice of it telling me, hey, right here, buddy. 
I've probably walked right past those a bunch of times. It's a bound to happen, you know. Hello. No, where where is he? Over here. Over here. I need a whistle. There's been chatter on the resistance frequencies while you were off planting the ordnance. Resistance oh, yeah? grenades have been malfunctioning. Would you know anything about that? Yeah, I came up with that. It was a strategy to ensure military targets. I will take both the credit and the blame. Civilian casualties are intentional. Both civilian and resistance must fear the bombs. It's how we kill their morale. But besides that point, when you countermand my orders, Imperial troops need to be notified of any change. We now have to throw out every salvaged grenade in the mix because we don't know which ones are rigged to blow. Is that all? Is this job finished? Be grateful that you are not part of our rank structure. For his part, Toybox will spend a few days in the stockade and receive lashes. You I cannot punish, but I would offer free advice. There are people on this planet who replace everyday items with explosives. Do not push them beyond reason. Is that a threat? Because it's a shame that I can't do anything about it. So I would just pull out my blaster and just just go boo, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I would do. I mean, I don't know. I've said it. I'm not like I said. I'm not the nicest, the nicest guy, and if you mess with me, I'm just like, I want to get you back. Revenge. Route is confirmed. Who doesn't like a good revenge? There's probably a movie. Is there a movie called Revenge? <laughs> it's probably a good movie. Probably a pretty good movie. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Right? Right. I'll talk to him a little later. You're in my way. Now I'm in your way. Wait. What? No. It ruins my whole thing if you can just walk through me. Oh, man. My favorite game. What's it called? I'm in your way. I'm in your way. What are you going to do about it? It's my favorite game. I always played as a child. <laughs> I know that sounds like a quick way to get punched right in the nose. I'm in your way. What are you going to do about it? I'm in your way. What are you going to do about it? I'm in your way. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a quick way to get punched in the face. Especially if you were like in a middle school, high school age. <laughs> Some dude who just started, you know, is going through puberty and is full of rage and testosterone. And you're just like, eh. <laughs> what are you going to do? The answer is simple. They're going to, they're going to hit you. Welcome back. I take it everything went well. And the Okada droid factory is running smoothly. I don't know. And what about Zalia? I trust that slicer won't be a problem. Yeah, she gone, man. She gone for good. It's like she never even existed. 
The Admiral will soon see my worth. Master is so wise. Remain silent, my pet, or I shall discipline you again. And you don't want that, do you? Why would you... Here is your payment for taking care of the slicer, my friend. Excellent work. Your next assignment concerns the local Ooh. fauna. Colonel Sashius is responsible for keeping our citizenry safe from the deadly colicoids infesting this planet. I see you didn't listen to me when I told you to keep an eye on her. She's spying, bro. Plus, it doesn't help. Here's a piece of advice. If there's somebody that you're hanging out with that w that knows where you sleep, not only they know where you sleep, they're there when you're sleeping. And they can just walk in and you're they don't talk to them like that. Don't talk about, I'm going to discipline you. Because eventually she's going to discipline you. And it's going to be way worse. Because she's only going to have to do it once. Or he. Whoever you're telling this to. I'm just... <laughs> I was stuck on her. Yeah, that's not a good idea, bro. To the people that know where you're sleeping and, that, and can just go into the room where you are sleeping, you should be nicer to them. Just remember that. <laughs> Hope they're a challenge. Deadlier than a bunch of killer droids? Colicoids are vicious, giant, insect-like creatures yeah. that devour anything in their path. Their exact origin on Balmora is unclear. We'll find out. After the Empire's invasion, the Balmorans released mutated colicoids into the wilderness. The creatures successfully bred and have become a plague on the population. The colicoids have become almost docile in recent months. Attacks are down all across the planet. That makes Colonel Sarsius look like he's got this plague under control. But we know better, don't we? You do, anyway. I'm not interested in guessing games, Perel. What's your plan? <laughs> Simple. If docile colicoids are the problem, then we must strive to make them hostile again. The last time they attacked in force was when a survey team accidentally encountered a colicoid queen. It took five squads to kill her. One of my gracious master scout units had a misfortune discovering a new calicoid, a sweeping resistance hideout. The unlucky scout who managed to crawl back raved about a bloodthirsty creature I've determined to be a queen. Oh... You see where this is going. Let me guess, somebody's gonna come up. I don't need time. <laughs> uh, clear as day. I'm following you. Attacking the queen conveniently would be a suicide. But my ever thoughtful master Place had me devised something else. Near the nest entrance. Or whatever he said. It will confuse and anger the colicoids. Kill any drones and warriors you see. No. Eventually, the queen will reveal herself. Well, she's spying. The sonic device will disorient her, leveling the playing field so you get a fair shot. Be fast and careful. I could say, kind of say, yeah, you better be careful too. Yeah, bro, you gotta be careful. She gonna get you. She gonna get you. What you gonna do? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? He doesn't know what he's gonna do. When she comes for him. When she comes for you. He doesn't know. Well, he's very oblivious. I mean, it was obvious. I've been here for three freaking minutes. I knew... She does not have your best interest at heart. Colloquate sounds scary. Morgir wishes Master would hold her safe. Yeah, I don't believe any of what you just said. I don't believe any of what you just said. <laughs> Is your accent even real? Okay. But at this point in time, I'm going at this one. I'm going to do it. I do, of course, hope everyone enjoyed themselves. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And, you know, if you didn't, please also do the same thing. 
well, you know, you don't have to do any of that, but what you do have to do is you gotta have a good day. You gotta do it super duper mandatory, non-negotiable. You gotta do it. You know, because without a good day, you got nothing. And that's not good, because we all know without a good day, you got nothing. And after that good day, hopefully I shall see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and all that good stuff. I guess now there really is only one thing left to say, and that is goodbye. <laughs>